it's me, Chris, from Red Rush Gear Arts and Props. And today, because uh, I do not want to die of endless boredom because of the COVID epidemic, I thought about doing a video about rust. Then I realized I'm <laughs> not educated enough to uh, explain the chemical process. So, here's me explaining rust to you like an idiot that doesn't, that doesn't understand anything about chemicals and shit. What I know it's about electro what I know is it's about electrolytes. So, as you can see, I use uh, rust in a, in a lot of my builds. Uh, I, to give you a few simple things about rust, uh, facts about rust is that rust is basically the common name for iron oxide. <clears throat> rust is, is iron oxide powder. That's what it is. The orange rust, Fe3O2, is uh, basically what, what uh, we are using for all the great looking orange, reddish colored rust things. Rust can also have other colors, but I'm way too fucking stupid to go into in detail about this. So, uh, while I'm explaining a few things about rust, I will just show you a few takes, I, uh, shots I did of these. Because, um, yeah, I, I, I really like to use rust. Uh, I tend to overuse it, while this may work, this looks like it got pulled out of a ship, shipwreck, and it would blow up in your face and you would die. So whenever, whenever you uh, build something like this and gun people like to explain to you that it doesn't work, just explain to them that uh, the post-apocalyptic genre as a hobby is basically fiction. There's mutants and shit in Fallout. Nobody seems to complain about Mr. Handy robots flying around talking in a British accent. So, eh, it's fiction. I like it. I like it that way. If you like your guns look, to look clean, that's cool too. So, uh, mm. Nothing there. Okay, on to, to show you the things I've recorded beforehand. So, what we need to keep in mind about rust is that the, the overall process uh, in which it happens is all about electrolytes. But Brando's got what rust crave. It's got electrolytes. The process of rusting is basically the oxidization of pure iron. So, uh, if you take, as an example, if you take copper, copper oxidizes and becomes green. If you take aluminium, not alum aluminum, it's al aluminium because that's how it's written and that's how everybody else in the rest of the world is saying it. So if you take aluminium, um, it gets grayish or blackish. It, I think it gets, yeah, it gets white or gray. Uh, that's, that's oxidization too. It's not rusting though because rust refers to, to iron oxide. The whole process of oxidization requires water, air and, and iron. Uh, and that's why we uh, add it to a bag and add salt to the water because uh, salt water has way more electrolytes and it's better for the, for the chemical reaction as normal tap water. We also use vinegar because the acids in the vinegar uh, help to dissolve the iron better so the oxidization is faster. That's the same way you can use, uh, that's, the same, that's the same reason, that's the same reason why you can use hydrogen peroxide because it's way more acidic and it dissolves the, the iron way faster and makes the reaction with the oxygen way faster. You can see that if you, if you just uh, add hydrogen, hydrogen peroxide, you will get a very bright uh, orange. And uh, I, use, I normally use iron powder, vinegar and salt water to get a very dirty and grimy rust look that looks way more realistic than if you just use iron powder and activator, which is basically hydrogen peroxide, and you get that, that crisp orange layering thing. Here's a graph of what happens when iron rusts. I'm way too fucking stupid to explain it to you, so I will just show this graph now. Okay, so uh, the last thing I wanted to point out in this is uh, that you will not get tetanus from rust. That's not how tetanus works. Uh, tetanus, uh, you get tetanus from the spores of uh, the tetani virus and uh, they are most commonly found in dust, animal feces and soil. So yeah, erde, soil, yeah, and soil. So you can as well get tetanus if you scratch yourself while gardening uh, artificially created rust with iron powder will not give you tetanus. Uh, so won't any other thing that rusted in an environment that's not very, very dirty. The thing is, in nature, where do you find rusted metal? You find it where there's puddles and shit. So uh, you can get tetanus from there because there's dirt everywhere and animal feces and dust. 
that's where you most likely find the, the, the tetanus bacterium. You will not get it if you just use this. I could basically lick it and I won't get tetanus. You should get vaccinated though. I think that's a very uh, kind of dangerous misconception because there's people who will not... I, I, I've met people who were, who were like, yeah, but I don't work with rusty metal so I don't have to get vaccinated. And I think, uh, I'm, I'm thinking, dude, you're, you're doing garden work. You, you can get tetanus. Way more likely than if I cut myself by any, with any of these things. So, that's uh, what I also wanted to point out. That's it then. Thanks for coming to the world's shittiest TED Talk. Goodbye. <laughs>